everything has to be uh, very secret, no, no telling anyone, no DPS and no photos, no videos in the way. Huh. Uh, it is, has to be like secrets and I am back here with Frumi Kazido. She is a Chabad emissary that lives in Kiev, which is uh, also in a building that's right near the parliament there. She, in her last interview, was choosing to stay in Kiev. Uh, but when I contacted her some days later, she uh, just to find out how she was doing, she told me she was already back in Israel in the city of, of Tzfat, which is in the northern part of the country. So um, I'm wonderfully happy to see you here, Frumi, with us. Tell us about what made you decide to leave in the end with your three children and your husband. Okay, so as I told you in the last interview, um, we are Shtuchim of Chabad, Lubavitch, and <clears throat> We doing everything according the orders and what orders? What, what do you mean? I mean, yes. What 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 already uh, told us that what we're doing? We going we the first time when we came to Kiev is it was because of that, and also when we leave, it's because of that. So, okay, so I want to explain to our listeners, the Rebbe of uh, the Lubavitcher Rebbe uh, is a, a giant figurehead, and he would send people out on uh, missions to bring Jews all over the world closer back to the Torah and to Judaism. And uh, since he's passed away, what many people do is they take a, a letter, they, they write a letter, and then they put it into an Igeret, it's a, the special book of the Rebbe, and they'll put it in any page, and when they open it up, right? You see what right. was written on that page and supposedly it gives you a message of perhaps what you should be doing. And you did that when you were deciding whether to stay or leave. And your uh, answer that you perceived that you got was that it's going to be like the miracle of Hanukkah. Everything is going to be all right. You'll be safe. Now from there, tell us what happened. Okay. So Tamar, thank you. Explain it. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and uh, what more? Uh, everyone also is according to the Rebbe asking have uh, as in Torah is right as Selacharav. I mean, everyone have to, to be someone guide. Uh, he can what he can to ask him for every single question, every advice what he need. So in my case, I have also someone that I ask him, ask her. In my case, and I was told her what what should I do, and she told me if something it's gonna change if it's uh, if it's a window to move out because when we spoke it was like a lockdown nobody may right. allowed to be in the street if right. you if if the military see someone no matter what they just shoot them so it it was like no one go in the street now. But she told me if when it will be open and, and it will be like window to move out, please uh, write in the Igorot Kodesh, please write the letter again, and we will see what the options and what to do. And and uh, and what that's what is what that's what it was. In the lockdown, it has to be finished in Monday last week, uh, Monday eight in the morning. So in the middle of the night, I just trying to uh, start to write everyone in Kiev that I know him and a lot of is, is there a lot of communities and not not all of them are religious also so I ask a lot of people what you what you're gonna do uh, tomorrow you're gonna leave what your plans and two told me yes I want to we, we, we trying we seem to to stay uh, one of them, she's uh, diplomatic. She has a lot of contacts. She not she not religious, and she told me everyone what what I asked them. They told me in the center of Kiev, it's safe, and I don't think to move out. 
and another also she lived in this uh, in the center another center but also uh, she asked she she told me she have a, they have a lot of a big community they came from okay so she told me also we think to to stay home everyone in our community and another girl what i asked her she told me yes we gonna live tomorrow uh they was they wasn't in the in the in the center they they live in the it's called levy uh, the name of in, in ukrainian is is like in the other side of kiev it's the like poor side i don't know how to say it and there is was they they heard the bombs very hard and the whole community uh just was hiding in the school uh in the basement there and the food is gonna finish a lot of people a lot of children without their parents because the parents can't leave or they're not in a, a good um, movement i don't know every everyone in another situation but the the in the in the in the end a lot of children that this was in this in the scene in the school with the sharia chabad there eleven arts family and they need to move out. They need another plan. They can't to be there for more long time. It's already three days without sleep, normal, without shower, without clothing even. I mean, like just like that. So they decided to trying to catch a bus and I mean to buy a bus and to take everyone to the border. So I, when she told me that, I, I write in the God Kodesh and I got an answer that uh, he, the rabbi said he happy to hear that we, we take the ride. And of course he will have an opportunity to go to uh, the rabbi Zion. Zion. And as you know, Ukraine is a lot of Zion. I mean, a lot of uh, places of Rabbeim, Chabad, and also another ones. So um, I decided uh, I I, I sent it to my guidance. I mean, to my teacher, and she told me right now it was like four in the morning, something like that. She told me right now you leave everything and you just pick up take take just uh warm clothes for your children because you don't know what it will be and uh enough food for three days and water and just go did you go in your own car did you go on a bus with everyone else yes and which uh, good question and uh all this it's if they will uh, success in uh, just in eight in the morning. They will know if they uh, if they got a, a bus or not. Okay. Okay. So without that bus, they can't leave. They have a car for themselves, but they can't just to leave this all children and all people that they don't have. So everything is just in case what in eight in the morning we will know if we will have a bus. But I understand that it will be, and we will we will just uh, move out. So uh, we'll, we will start to to uh, pack everything that is very important, to buy, you know, something like that, uh, money, and um, and something strange. I can to find my driving license. Disappear. I don't know where it is, just disappear. And what we can do, I mean, I don't know if 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 the police will asking for for I don't know if in this time they're asking for this or not, but I don't want to be in this situation in, in the middle of the way. And they say, okay, I don't know my my driving license license is where is your is, husband in all of this? We are together. I, I <laughs> everything what they say, it's more our decision the decision together. Actually. Is still thinking that it was the right to stay in, in Kiev, but I told him no, we just leave. And together we, we decided that and we, we all all the house and we have to, to remember that in this time it's not allowed to 
turn on the light. I mean, everything you have to do in the dark. Darkness because because uh, I don't know it's it's like a loader now uh, finds the all the all the day actually you're not allowed to turn on the the light okay because maybe the Russian will see I I can't understand why but but that's what so uh, he and me looking like crazy where is my license where our license and again to find that so uh, we're trying to call to our uh, uh, people that we know here in Kiev and first told them that uh, we gonna meet live tomorrow and if they want to come with us and uh, also if they have someone in he, what he can to to be a dead driver in our car. And nobody can. Uh, it's like five five Israel's people. They all singles, and we a lot of times trying to ask them to leave before, but they don't want it. Want to, but now they want to. They have one car and just one driver. So everyone what we, we call to have no driver, and then. Um, um, Eleven art family, Rabbi Moti Eleven Arts called my husband and he says, and now I got a call from a mother in Israel. She told me her son uh, leaving Kiev for four years uh, until now he didn't want any contact with Chabad or even Israeli community, even Jewish community. He just was living in the center of Kiev. And now his mother just asking in, 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 and crying to someone take him out. So we called this this guy, and uh, he told he told us uh, yes. I don't think I want to leave. I don't know. And my husband explained him explain him everything, and he say okay. So I come. I I feel maybe I don't know. I don't know what to say. So uh, we go we go to take him. And uh, we put everything in the car. Uh, we was me, my husband, my three daughters, my brother, what he came to be with us before everything would start. And, uh, and this guy. And you're all in <laughs> one car that holds five people? Uh, yes, thank God. It was like it's it's a jeep with seven places. Uh, it's all okay. it's all um it's also story. It's not it's not yeah it's not like just like that because the family uh, what live for us they car they live before and they gave us their car. Wow. Yes, it's in it. It's a big wow because. Pratits. Divine because they didn't, they don't, they don't, they didn't, they live in Anatevka. Uh, it's like a village uh, outside of Kiev. like, like Fiddler on the Roof, Anatevka. Yes, is this the play? Mm -hmm. Is is it? Mm -hmm. So uh, they live before, and the brother of the husband, uh, now in Anatevka, also now, right now in this moment, and he take the car and bring it to us in in Friday before because in case what we want to leave so we don't we didn't have any problems uh, we have the car we have this full gas and and everything so we 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 we, we start to drive in in the in this time a lot of people and also the family the the community what i told you uh, one of my friends that she told me uh, they and their community think to stay home in kiev after i write her that uh, we gonna leave this living out family this community so they decided to move all the community together also and it's like I don't know, 20, 20 families. I don't know, a lot of people. How many people they stay behind to... still? How many people are still there? How many Jews are still there? We can't know exactly. All the time I get more and more uh, phone calls. Just today I get another one that I don't didn't know before this name or this guy. Um, but 
I guess just Jewish people is more, a lot more than we know, because a lot of Jewish people didn't know they are Jewish or they know, but it didn't mean nothing for them. But people that say in, uh, in touch with uh, communities, with the Jewish communities, I know of uh, now, I know of one family, no, two families, um, that stayed one behind. Single, one single, one single guy. That's what I know. Now. That stayed yes. behind. Yes, in Kiev. Uh huh. So they're still there, and they do they want to get out now, or are they still want to stay? Um, one family I know they still want to stay. They trying, they thinking, and still this diplomatic family. What I told you, mm -hmm. uh, they still want to stay. And the single guy, as I understand, he also want to stay there. Um, I have another family that I sent to them a car, but I don't know if it will be success. Uh, does it take him? They, she have, uh, I mean, it's a family with her mother, two little children. Uh, the husband is uh, as old the men in Ukraine must to be, I mean, they're not allowed to leave Ukraine. Right, so for so anybody who doesn't understand, between the ages of 18 to 60, if you're a, a Ukrainian citizen, they don't want the men to leave, they want you to stay and fight, exactly. So yes. would you, so there you would- Other people don't want to leave without their husband. Yes, yes, I hear that. So maybe the wives and children are staying behind to stay with their father and husband. I hear you. Um, so, but you would say that the majority of the Jewish population in Kiev has left? Yes. The majority have yes. left. Okay. And yes. so um, how did you get to Israel? So, you, so you, you got into this bus or this car? In the, in the car. Okay. And then you drove where? Where did you drive? Okay. I just I, so uh, we decided everyone to start to, to move together from Anatevka. I mean, everyone has to come to Anatevka, on, and from this point to live together to Moldova. To mm. Moldova. Moldova. Yes. yes. Okay. Moldova. And uh, it was like um, security line of cars. We 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 start this driving with 23 cars okay. and a bus, and four people, they all, uh, I mean, if I forget the name, I mean, the own newspaper, I mean, in Israel, uh, with stem, uh, child yes. stem, 12, 11, 13, they are all was in our bus. Uh -huh. uh, they came together with us. They also was in Kiev in, until this moment. And they came with us. So it was like a very big line. And because of that, we stopped for every, I don't know, <laughs> every hour for, for get up to, and also this old driving has to be without GPS, is not allowed because maybe the Russians will see and they bumps just today. Um, it, it was Shlia uh, Chabad, I mean Chabad in Mariupol, they trying to move out a bus, three buses from their home, I mean they didn't live now, they already, they, they didn't in, in Mariupol now, they live already, but they send buses for their community who want to leave, but the Russian was bumped. This, this, uh, this bus is before people arriving. I mean, when the bus- Thank God, it, it, it was before the, the people were on the bus. Yes, but the, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the buses come to the point of the meeting, I mean, they already knew, or I don't know. So, uh, because that is what like every, everything has to be uh, very secret, no, no telling anyone, no DPS and no photos, no videos in the way. Huh. Uh, it is, has to be like secrets and we just driving it was 24 hours even it has to be five six hours uh, it was like 24 hours i seem 20 hours of driving i don't know my uh, the, the the guy what drive in the car we starting in uh, hate in the morning monday 
and we will finish this driving in in Wednesday. Wednesday or Tuesday? Wednesday. That's two days. Yes, because we stopped in Anatevko for night, but he didn't have a place to sleep. So it was it was for three days. Hmm. Wake up on the on, on the on the on the on the car. I don't know. It's 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 alone. I mean, just this is a big <laughs> it's a big miracle how to get to Moldova to Kishinev. And thank God it was I don't know, just arriving there and people there. Uh, was uh, waiting for us with place in the hotel. This is in uh, Moldova. Was it hard to get across the border? Not really, not. Uh, for Israel's people, it doesn't any matter, any problem. Just, they just uh, check the, the passports and give us to, to move. But for citizen, it's a big problem and a lot of people was stopping there. We, we all wait for people there for maybe two hours in, in the border in Moldova. But unfortunately, a lot of people must to, was must to stay there. Okay, and I want to say the reason I'm, I'm assuming that, they are, that the Israelis can cross over the border easily is because there are already representatives from Israel waiting there to take them and take care no, of them. Because, and then why? No, just because we're not citizens. Everyone who was citizen in mm -hmm. Ukraine, yes. was, uh, he, men, in the in this age, I mean between eighteen to sixty five, we can to move out. We can. Uh huh. Okay. All right. And and then so, so um, I understood that from the Moldovian border into the Ukraine, it was like a twenty kilometer line of cars trying to cross the border. Is that what you experienced as well, or it was much shorter? In my experience, we already was. You can, you can, we start with 23 cars, but we finish this, this driving with 50 cars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and you just can imagine that the old way was in this, uh, for 20, uh, 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 I don't know, wide of five hours, take 24 hours. So you just can to imagine how much it was. So in my experience, the, it wasn't a problem. It was like, it was the easy, easy, easy part. All right. And so you got across the border. Were, were there Israeli representatives there helping out? In Kishinev. Okay. I mean, everyone get the place where he want to leave, where he want to go, right? Uh, stra straight to Romania, to Yasi. It was an option because in the night, it was a special flight to Israel. Or if they want to uh, go to Kishinev, uh, it was also their uh, hotels. We have friend that they there and they do everything to wait to the people and and to take care of them. They have place to sleep, to to take a shower, to eat. And so when you got out of the border, what happened? How did you get to Israel? So um, we promise uh, the guy who leave us the, the car that we leave the car in a safe place, not just in the border. So uh, we take the car to Kishinev and, and there uh, we stop for a few hours, maybe five, something like that. And then we realize that uh, we want to take uh, this flight for tonight to Israel. So um, that's what we do, that's what we're doing. I mean, uh, we take from there a taxi to, to Yasi in Romania. And it was also a miracle because when we go to the border between Moldova to Romania, it was like a line for you can stay there for all night. Uh, my driver told us in this in this case you never got the the flight. 
So no, I never make the flight, down. right? Yeah. And so what happened? So I went out of the car and I go to the, I went to the police there. They hit this with my baby on my hair on my hand and they see me and they say, of course, of course, no problem. Uh, we will take you out. And that that that's what it was. And in this moment, my husband see my friend uh, uh, publish a post that she's still in this line and they live in the morning, uh, Kishinev, yes. I mean, and so I told the police, we have here friends, please help them also. They have also small little children, please help them also to, 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 go, to cross the border. So they helped them. Wow. It was two families uh, behind us. So thank God we all uh, get the flight and it was like the happier flight that I ever had mm -hmm. because everyone was there happy. Wow. And who was there to meet you at the airport in Israel? What? Did you have someone meet you at the airport in Israel? Uh, a lot of the uh, Bnei Akiva people, uh, I don't know. It's a youth girls. group. Of, so there are youth there greeting you. Did you have any family members greeting you at all? Uh, I just, I, I just uh, was told them that I came so close. So they didn't know that they have to be in, in, in the airport in this time. Ah, but, okay. But yes, but it was okay. Yeah. It, and now it, you're like, staying with your sister in spot, right? Yes, in my in my parents' family, in my parents' house, and it's mm -hmm. it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's very very good. Thank God. I'm so happy to hear that you were able to get out because I was so worried about you. And you know, in the last interview I did with you after we finished, I started to cry. Remember? Do you remember yeah, that? Yes. Yeah, I course. was so worried about you, and I'm so I was thrilled when I contacted you again. You told me that you're here in Israel. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy to know you were out. <laughs> so I hope uh, you you everything will will go easy enough for you. I know it's very difficult not to have all of your things and not to have your home and it's crowded where you are, and and you don't even know what's going to happen in the future if you'll ever be able to return back there or not. So um, just God should be with you. Hashem should be with you, and you should have you and your family and all of the Jews that are escaping and all the innocent people who are escaping uh, should all be blessed and, and uh, have a, the easiest possible future ahead. I, I, I know it won't be easy, but it should be the easiest that it can be. Thank you so much. It will be, it will be, I believe it. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Frumi. Mm -hmm. God bless you. You too. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, to make sure you can get access to all of our interviews, make sure to hit the subscribe button on both our YouTube and Rumble channels. Your click makes us all stronger. Thanks.